So we're in San Diego at OFC 2019. I'm here with Manish from Source Photonics. Manish, good to see you again. Good to see you again. So, I mean, your company is, is well known for its high speed, small form factor uh, modules. And you're here at the show talking about your, your new range of 400 gig products. Can you just tell us a little bit about that and, and why you're delivering these to the market now? Sure. So we've got three products we're demonstrating at the show right now at 400 gig. We have a 400 gig LR8 module. It's a 10 kilometer reach uh, module that actually will go into production in Q2 of this year. Okay. We expect it to be the first 400 gig production module in the market. We have a 400 gig DR4 module. Uh, which is four lanes of 100 gig, uh, targeted at 500 meter applications for inside the data center. And we actually have a demonstration, an early demonstration of a 400 gig ER8 module, which is a duplex fiber 40 kilometer interface, which is the first of its kind to be demonstrated uh, in the industry. Um, so we've developed a wide range of products covering everything from inside the data center to routing and client-side transport applications in 400 gig. Okay. Uh, we're quite excited about the initial adoption of these products from the hyperscale data centers, as well as some of the lead OEMs in the routing space, and believe that over the next few years, these are gonna really become mainstream products uh, in the industry. So of course, that's not all that you're showing here at OFC 2019. Uh, can you tell us a bit more in general about market developments and what other kind of products we can expect to see from Source Photonics? Sure. Well, 400 gig is definitely the future. Uh, but as much of the industry knows, we have been the industry leader uh, on the 100 gig LAN WDM portfolio in a small form factor. It was originally the QSB 2800 gig LR4. And what we've done here over the last year is really expanded that portfolio into a very wide range of products that can serve um, a much larger variety of applications than the LR4 could serve. Okay. We now have a multi-rate LR4 product shipping in production that can serve the transport market. We have 40 kilometer ethernet and multi-rate products that can support more metro applications in the Asian market. Um, we have single Lambda 100 gig products that should serve the next generation of 100 gig data center connectivity. And we've also released a second generation 100 gig CWDM4 product that we believe will be uh, price competitive with every other player in the industry. Okay. So we have significantly expanded our 100 gig portfolio in addition to our 400 gig developments. Okay, and, and any new sort of products that you're bringing to market, things that you haven't been out there and offering before? Yeah, so the 100 gig ER4 Lite is one that we're shipping in production this year. Uh, it's a 40 kilometer 100 gig uh, product. The 100 gig OTU4 is also a new product that we are now shipping in 2019 okay. for multi-rate uh, LR4 support. Um, and then we've got a wide range of 5G capable products for front hall and mid hall. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's talk about that because obviously, you know, even at OFC, 5G, uh, you know, is, is a big topic, uh, a big trend. I think so, some people outside uh, looking at this going, it's an optical show. Why are people talking about 5G? So, so how does a company like Source Photonics play into the 5G ecosystem? Yeah. As speeds have increased in the core networks and the metro networks, they've also had to increase in the link rates required to go from the base station to the radio units in a wireless network. Uh, that actually drove a transformation from electrical connectivity to optical connectivity uh, in 3G and LTE networks almost seven to 10 years ago. Right. Source Photonics was actually the leader at the time in shipping six gigabit and 10 gigabit transceivers for 3G and LTE networks in the front hall. And now as we go to 5G, that bandwidth requirement grows even further. Um, so we are releasing a suite of products that are gonna operate at 25 gigabit per second uh, that will serve the front hall application, the connectivity between the base station unit and the radio units. Mm -hmm. But there's also gonna be the introduction of mid hall connectivity. Okay. That's gonna allow the base stations to communicate with each other and get some kind of edge compute into the network and we're developing a wide range of 50 gig and 100 gig 
uh, products that are going to serve the mid-haul connectivity requirements in the 5G networks. Okay. So I think it's, I mean, it's absolutely critical that in, in the 5G story that the, that the market doesn't forget that, that the transport behind the radio access network is just as important as that finest final wireless connection. That's absolutely right. Today's backhaul networks will not serve the, the backhaul needs of 5G networks and the physical infrastructure actually isn't even in place yet to serve the mid-haul needs. And that's enabled a new conversation and new products to emerge to provide uh, the right speeds and the right form factors to serve uh, this new generation of edge compute that's going to be required in the 5G networks. Okay. We're well, in the same way as 100 gig is a, an enduring story that we're still talking about now and have been for years. I know we're going to be talking about 5G for some time to come. Look forward to catching up next year and seeing how that has developed for Source Photonics. It was great to Manish, see you. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot.